Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to another one of my videos on 6th edition Tyranids. Today we're going to be focusing on the Tyrannofax. Now this guy is fun. <clears throat> I really think that when GW made the Tyrannofax in this, they thought, you know what, I'm going to give you enough things to kill and wipe out another person's entire army. But just in case, just in case you think there's a small chance you might survive, we're going to create a unit to remove all doubt. You're going to die. And that guy is the Tyrannofix. So let's look at him. Okay. <clears throat> He's 175 points. That's the first time I'm going to mention points and the only time. Uh, weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 3, strength 6, toughness 6, wounds 6, initiative 2. So one more than those power fists uh attacks three leadership eight uh and uh two plus armor save the only the two plus armor save wow he's a monstrous creature obviously but the thing that i likes the most about him is he gets any biomorphs and any thorax biomorphs that you want to give him, which is very nice. And I'll tell you why. M mostly I just give him the, the Haywire template one, uh, the Shock Beetle one, which basically is a Flamer template with Haywire. Why? Because a lot of times this guy gets charged by, uh, you know, some form of vehicle, Dreadnought or things like that boom that takes care of this but but the thing that i like most about this guy the thing that i like most is the flesh borer swarm which is a flesh borer attack assault 20 assault 20 so that means if you just took two of these things for less than 400 points. Uh, actually, no. And, and how many points does that cost? Five. This is why I mentioned points with this guy. Five points. Five points to give to upgrade to an Assault 20 weapon is just a, it's a gift. It's a gift? Okay, forget any other shooting on that turn. This is Assault 20. Two of these guys would be Assault 40. Three of them, if you actually imagine that, would be Assault 60. Three different units just walking down the table right there is Assault... They don't even have to walk. Just Assault 60 if you wanted to do that for, for an extra 15 points in total. Uh, <laughs> if I ran Nidzilla's armies, I would be thinking something along those lines. But I could definitely see them just, you know, one of those walking behind, you know, two broods of Carnifexes. Or two of them walking behind one brood of Carnifex and an old one eye, just yeah. And 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 then you get still get your exocrines and zoanthropes. You the amount of firepower this lays down on the table is insane. Um, the other good thing about it, like I said, is that it has all of the biomorphs, and you know my favorite one. If you've watched any of my videos, acid blood. So go ahead, try to assault this guy. Strength 5, AP 2, wound for every wound you do to him. Before his armor saves. So he'll still get the 2+, plus, assuming you don't have a power weapon. Uh, he'll still get his 2+, plus armor save. You just have to wound in melee. And uh, bam, at your initiative step, immediately you take another wound. He's fearless. So don't worry about synapse because uh, the fearless rule will basically mean that you can ignore the one to two option and with hunt. <clears throat> what else? Uh, it has the rupture cannon. Um, okay, I can see a use for it if you don't take an exocrine or anything like that. You know it gives you the option, and that's what the Tyranids are all about. They're all about options. Maybe your army list doesn't allow you to take any of the exocrines or zoanthropes or, or anything like that. So this guy, you can load it on him. You know he's going to be, what, a strength 10? AP4, assault 2? 
Do, do you need to explain that? Uh, go for it. What else does he come with? Uh, I mean, that's it. it. The guy is just a killer. Obviously, I would give him regeneration along with his acid blood. So anything that does get through, he, he's still sitting there and able to get him back. Um, you can give him uh, adrenal glands, right, for the furious charge, but he's already a monstrous creature. But it's, yeah, go for it. You can just add those in it and, and make him a, a complete nightmare. Uh, in many ways, uh, I imagine this guy being like just the damage magnet. You put him on the table and everybody's going to think that's the big thing that they've got to kill. While you have all your other ones that I've been going, all your other creatures through the other models that I've been going through in my videos, uh, still sitting there devastating in themselves. Could you imagine this guy walking down the table with exocrines, uh, you know what I mean, along the side? Who do, who do you shoot? And then you got your your harpies flying ahead and you know scores of tyranid warriors shooting death spitters and things like that at the same time or gene stealers popping in on the side of your table um <laughs> like i said he's just that one model you put on the table to tell people you know i could have killed you with all of these other things by themselves but i put him there just to remove all hope just forget about it. Game over. Uh, that's how I see this guy. Uh, <laughs> he's just awesome in that regard. That's how I would use him. I hope you like that. And I'll talk more about tactics with him. I'm working up a video specifically on different army types. Uh, a Nidzilla army type, a control army type, a swarm army type. Just to talk about that, so I'm not going to mention too much about that in this video. And I hope you watch those, and I hope you enjoyed this one. See you again next time.